Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Pretty guys, a brand new video today, and today we are diving into the world of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. As some video game websites have now revealed new information as they got an early preview to the upcoming game coming out in November. We have some new gameplay footage, we have some new insight into BDSP, and how different it's going to be from the originals. As always, if you enjoy these news breakdown videos, be sure to hit that like button down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And if you guys haven't heard, I teamed up with Best Buy in the United States where you guys can pre-order Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, or Legends Arceus, or all of the above, and get some sweet pre-order bonuses. I'll have a link in the description below where you can do that. It helps me out a ton, so if you're gonna get the game, you can just get it through my link, and like I said, it helps me out. If you do the double pack for BDSP, you get the awesome keychain that comes with it. You'll also still get the other pre-order bonuses, like the opportunity to get the Manaphy egg, and with Legends Arceus, you'll get the Kimono, Hisui, and Growlithe outfit, and you'll also obviously get the 30 Heavy Balls. So some pretty cool pre-order bonuses, so check the link in the description below and pre-order Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus today and help your boy out. It helps me out a lot. I'm not kidding, so definitely check that out. Without further ado, let's take a look at some of the notes and some of the highlights, and then we're going to actually watch the Game Informer breakdown where it's about five minutes of them talking. I'm going to react to it, and we're going to see kind of some of the new gameplay footage. But just some highlights. I read some of the different articles that came out from Polygon, a couple articles from Polygon, a couple other websites another website called Vooks, and they kind of highlighted some of the stuff they saw from the preview. So a couple of those highlights, if you're short on time, I'll cover them right now. There is gonna be an auto save feature in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, so you can probably turn it off, but there will be an auto save feature, which there was in Sword and Shield. The experience share is on from the beginning of the game, and it cannot be turned off, uh, as far as I can tell. So there will be XP share. Uh, I know some people are mixed about that. I, I don't necessarily hate it, because it does remove the need for grinding but I just dislike the fact that they don't give it to me as an option. I should be able to turn it off if I don't want to have it on, but nonetheless, it is confirmed that you don't need HMs in your party. You'll be able to access them separately, so you don't have to like stack up a doof on your team. You can just utilize the HMs as we saw in the trailers. Super effective attacks are now shown on the attack screen. So if you're gonna use like a water gun against a fire type Pokemon, it'll say it's super effective. So you don't need to know the type chart. Uh, I think for a lot of us veteran players, it's not really a big deal, but that's something that they added in the last couple games and they've added some of those quality of life improvements to help out newer players and just make the gameplay a little bit more seamless. I have no gripes against that. I think it's just, it, it's helpful. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it should be showing in competitive, but I think for casual gameplay, it's fine. Um, in the underground, you obviously have a, a robust underground, which I'm sure we're going to see in this trailer here. A lot to do in the underground. You can mine statues and put statues up of your favorite Pokemon and much, much more. So we know that the underground is going to be much more robust and the different biomes that you're in are going to indicate which Pokemon you're going to see. And I think there's a whole overhaul for the underground. It's also confirmed that you can access your PC from anywhere, so you don't have to be in a Pokemon Center to swap your party members around. And last but not least, Polygon has reported that you can indeed polish your gym badges, which I know is something that a lot of people liked on the bottom screen. You kind of squeak them and you can polish them up. I thought that was a cute little feature that they had in the original games, so it's nice to see that returning. But without further ado, those are the main highlights that I gathered from the couple articles that I read. We're gonna jump into the gameplay footage from Game Informer. I'll put the original link in the description if you wanna watch their original video, but I'm gonna watch it because I'm pretty sure it features some pretty crazy new gameplay. We can see a little bit more about BDSP and hear their perspective because they actually saw the presentation. So let's do it. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. So there you can, you can see that right there. I'm just gonna kind of show it real quick uh, and I'll be stopping a few times throughout this video. But you can see on Ember here and Scratch, it says effective. So you can see again, as we mentioned, the different effectiveness. Friends, and welcome to New Gameplay Today. Unfortunately, we don't have a ton of time, but I am Alex Stadnick, and I am joined with the king of late night, John Carson. Hello, sir. Hey, we're gonna keep it tight today. Uh, we are looking at some uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, uh, which is a- Curious how you guys feel about the AI, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, the UI rather, the user interface. I feel like it's a different style than I would have expected, but obviously we have a new studio developing this. So uh, kind of the, the buttons on the side and stuff, not kind of what I expected, but I don't, I don't hate it. I think I have to have it grow on me for sure. A faithful remake of Diamond and Pearl uh, if you look at like the the world and like the characters running, walking around the world, uh, it is still the top down uh, aspect like you had in those games. Uh, but then what they stressed was they made a bunch of quality of life uh, changes to this game. So I think that that's really going to be the summary of what we see here and what we see for BDSP moving forward. It is a faithful remake of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but 
They have quality of life improvements that they've added throughout the years of the franchise, and that's going to enhance the gameplay experience for people like me and you. Now, what does that mean in terms of new stuff? Probably not a whole lot, if we're being honest here. I think that this is gonna stick pretty closely to the originals. So for those looking for some sort of crazy varied gameplay experience, I do not think this is gonna be that at this point. Still holding my breath for Mega Evolution. I don't think it's happening anymore. So they are bringing in a lot of the stuff from uh, Sun and Moon and uh, maybe X and Y had it too, and, and Sword and Shield. So uh, when you're in battles, uh, you could see uh, the appropriate uh, effectiveness of moves uh, that your Pokemon's can use against. Uh, yeah, which we talked about, right? You can see the different effectiveness. Not a huge deal there. That the opponent's Pokemon, uh, which is nice. Uh, they added things like uh, a new HM. These are the various statues that you can actually get. I guess you get these from mining, so you can access these statues of the various Pokemon and place them wherever you see fit. Uh, activations where you don't even have to have Pokemon with an HM move uh, learned to use the HM. Like and again, confirmed, you don't have to have a Pokemon with the HM learned. You can simply use the HM regardless. A random wild Pokemon will just show up and use it, which is <laughs> weird. Yeah. Uh, but but that was something that they've eliminated in newer games. So that's how they're they're figuring it out for this. Oh, that's one. cool that the statue uh, changes and, the effects. I guess cut to cut to here. What we're looking at right now are are the uh, the underground scenes. This is one of the things in, I'm most uh, excited about is the underground diamond and pearl, which is like this whole world that's underneath Sinnoh. And it was sight there. We saw the, the, the fighting Pokemon thing? trainer putting into their secret base. Uh, which is a room where you put uh, Pokemon statues, and those Pokemon statues that you put in there will affect what kind of Pokemon you actually find in the underground. Oh, interesting. So okay. if you're putting in, like, like bug Pokemon statues... Yeah, so we kind of knew about this, right? And that's what that lightning statue showed. The various statues that you place will show you... Uh, will inf uh, kind of indicate which Pokemon spawns you'll see. Um, and there's gonna be different biomes in the underground, which we've seen like a full map of this already. Or oh, cool. electric Pokemon or what, whatever it is, but. So it's not, it's not. I wonder if this is gonna be a shiny hunting is, mechanic, by the way. In there, it's um, not I wonder if there's a higher chance to find shinies in the underground. Like there's always a chance for that, right? Like let's let's keep an open mind here. We're hoping that the Pokey Radar returns, which I think at this point probably well, will, well, considering it, it how many things, things that they're too, bringing uh, back. That, if they're bringing back one, polishing uh, badges, you gotta believe One they're gonna bring back Pokey Radar. Uh, decided to show us was just Pokemon. Abilities fighting. are in the now game. If we didn't already know that. Types of statues, even there were shiny statues, uh, but they didn't really go into what those shiny statues do. I don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Typing now there were different types of statues. Even there were shiny statues. Ooh. There are different types of statues. There are shiny statues. But I think he's talking about the ones that you can place in your base. But they didn't really go into what those shiny statues do. I don't know if it's like a greater chance of that of that type of Pokemon showing up. But Wow, how about that? We were just talking about the potential for a shiny hunting mechanic. And I definitely think there's an opportunity for us to explore that in the underground. Maybe there's a new shiny hunting mechanic there. I guess right here we're looking at, at, at a gym, I believe. It looks like a gym. This uh, is this definitely a gym. Our, this is our, Gardenia's uh, gym. Actual gameplay demo, but... Uh, it's nice to see an indoor environment here. And obviously the Chimchar following you, so we know that Pokemon will follow you. Apparently, if I'm not mistaken, the following Pokemon begins once you get to Amity Square, which is in Hard Home, if I'm not mistaken. This uh, this gen, yeah. um, and and I love the ch the the changes like having Chimchar and your Pokemon yes. follow you. Yes, you can have one Pokemon follow you at a time, which is great, and they all walk and run at different speeds and in different ways. <laughs> so. Uh, no matter which Pokemon you have out there, it has, it kind of shows its personality out in the field. He's so cute. He's Look at him. Neat. Yeah, yeah. Neat. You see the big shadow the for the cloud the flying the by and stuff. Uh, best of the start, isn't this? Oh, game. contest. Anyways, um, yeah. I'm not a big contest guy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I did him when I was a kid, though. Like, when I played the original games, I did him. Fantastic. So, there's Roar's Gym. When, when, when do we get in the remakes, John? We get the remakes on November 19th. On November 19th. Switch. Exclusively, baby. Exclusively. John, Thank you so much for this new info. Viewers, yeah. thank you so much for watching. Be sure I think that that's pretty much it. Uh, big shouts to the Game Informer for uh, hooking us up with some footage there uh, to kind of give us a little bit of insight as to what's going on with BDSP and some of the quality of life improvements and updates. 
As I mentioned, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And if you're gonna pre-order Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, or Legends Arceus, or all three, check out my pre-order link in the description below with Best Buy USA and hook your boy up, man. It helps me out a ton. It doesn't cost you any extra and you get those dope pre-order bonuses. For BDSP Double Pack, you get the sweet keychain. And you'll also obviously not miss out on the Manaphy Egg. And then for Legends Arceus, you'll get the Kimono, Hasui, and Growlithe outfit for the game. And 30 Heavy Balls, which function differently than the Heavy Balls from the main series game. So they'll be a little bit different. They'll be kind of nice to have. So that's going to be that, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on everything we just covered. And that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.